Good evening YouTube viewers and subscribers. Um, today on the bench I've got the RJL or Kraft 61 engine that I ran just recently. You may be asking, well why do you have it like this, like you're about to start disassembling it? Well, the reason is because when I was running this engine, there was an awful lot of fuel coming out of this side of the engine. Uh, while it was running. I mean, it wasn't oil, it was fuel. I tried to capture that on video. I'm not sure how successful I was. I mean, I saw it, but it wasn't really in focus. <clears throat> so there was quite a bit of fuel coming out of there. So the owner, Milt, asked me to go ahead and, you know, investigate this. So the first thing I want to do is I want to try to avoid actually taking the engine apart if possible because the bearings were just replaced in it, but my theory is that maybe something's wrong with the front housing here so I was just gonna go ahead and try and pull this prop drive washer off first and see if that helps us understand what's going on okay so I've never had this happen before I usually just have these drive washers just pop right off but this one's kinda stepping off for some reason See, it's just kind of slowly pulling up, which is different than I've ever seen. That is interesting. Okay, this isn't really that hot. <coughs> Alright, so. here I have to get my magnifier on I'm not seeing anything <clears throat> that's just obvious that doesn't look right here I mean well I wonder if I don't know, the front of this bearing looks like it's kind of been driven inward, like it's damaged. Let's see if I can zoom way in on this so you can see that. I can't Probably not, but right here you can kind of see the reflection where it looks like the front of this bearing is damaged. <coughs> and I don't know, it looks like this is designed to fit right on there like that shouldn't be pushing in on it but this collet here is not in there flush and maybe that's what actually was pushing in on that bearing I mean it looks like it's fitting properly in here but I don't know maybe we have some parts that are just not matched right but this front bearing looks damaged so right off the the cuff, I'm just going to say this thing was leaking because uh, there's a damaged front bearing. So that is going to bring us back to disassembling this engine and seeing if I've got a bearing that size that I can replace it with. Oh, this is interesting. I didn't know this about this engine, of course I don't know much about this engine, but the top of the piston is conical, or is coned upward. Hopefully you can see that, how it's kind of dished up. That's interesting, I've never never seen that before on, a, on an engine. Hmm. Yuck. This thing has an o-ring seal, but then it also has some silicon. I wonder if that means this o-ring is bad or why there would be sealer on this also. I hope this isn't in the engine here. should not be necessary if you've got a decent back plate and o-ring 
should not be necessary at all. <coughs> Looks like a pretty rigid backplate. I can't imagine why it would be leaking. The hell, I'd rather it leak back here than leak out the front like it was doing. Alright, well, let's see how willing this sleeve is going to be to come out. It doesn't look like it's going to come out with my finger. I'm going to have to go heat this thing up and get my popsicle stick.